There's a prisoner at this facility who's being convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. They've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Well, this is a nice introduction to the game. Build a large jail door. This guy seems to know what he's doing. I'm not entirely sure what I'm here for. Nope, the whole game is like this. I think that I, they've really found my skill level. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. Depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Yeah, so that's not getting included. What's the point in putting all these high-quality things in for someone who's about to die anyway, you know? It's a bit of a waste. Do you even confess want to hear his description of what he did? Not really. The round 11, I'm, I told you I didn't want to hear it. I was not expecting this level of story. It's kind of hard to take these little characters seriously in like a crime sense. Like I know the premise of the game is building a prison, but still this whole sending a guy to death on an electric chair thing is a bit intense. I also love how you're seeing the drama through these little naff people, and then they've got some proper dramatic pictures just just to try and make it a bit more real. <laughs> See, this is such a dramatic image, and then this little guy with a big gun. Look at the oversized gun. Is the point of this setup to try and make me relate to them more? Because I don't think it's working. <laughs> that dude's name is just Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, jeez, actions. Let's put him in solitary, just because I don't like his name. I think if I bought more workmen, it would just get done quicker. Oh, I've exceeded my daily budget. Oh dear. Hadn't I, oh no, he was in that cell. Do they actually have to move cells? Just on, for the night before their execution? That's pretty grim. Like, I'd at least let them have one more night in their own cell. Like, we don't even want you to see the air the next morning. Someone has started a fire. Well, we should put that out. Oh mate, you know, we could just let it go for a little bit. Doesn't appear to be getting any bigger. I'm sure it'll burn itself out in a minute. Oh no, it's gonna burn the TVs. That's actually upsetting. Would we better save the TVs? Okay, let's beat this up, guys. The fire going on is destroying my TVs. I have killed four of the fire. <laughs> but you know, on the plus side, they put out most of the fire, so they did their job first. I respect them for that. They served their function to society, and then they left. The bad news is the budget cuts have meant we've had to sack all our permanent doctors. Is that allowed? You've just got this entire prison full of people who are probably getting hurt daily and you don't have any doctors as well. Well, you can piss off. You... I don't know why I had to send home the one where all of them died. Display spread of guards. I like how his attitude is, without food, these prisoners will be rioting soon. We better deploy guards to stop the riots. Instead of like, we better rebuild our kitchen so we can feed them. <laughs> no, we must first focus on crushing their spirit. Then they can have food. Stole at least two serving tables, six tables, and two benches around each table. Right. Two serving tables. Six tables. And bench around each table. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> I've seen a reason why that won't work. Oh, I need electricity and water. Well, that looks easy. Never do the hard job when there is an easier job waiting first. Install at least six tables. I did. Did I only do five? Damn. You'd think that I did it all in once in a row. I would have counted better, but apparently not. You can monitor your prisoners' needs. Nah, I think I think I'm pretty in sync with them. You know, just naturally. I don't think I need Charles to tell me what they need. I just, I just, I just have a feeling. Like, I feel like they might need more than one door, but, you know, patience is a virtue, so I think I'm going to leave them to it for now. So let's do the things that I have to do. Optional just means don't do it, basically, is what they're telling you. Oh my days. How did he get a knife like that? We're not a very good prison if we're letting people get knives like that. Also, it is filthy in here. I know that's not the point, but still, this is supposed to be where people come to get clean. What am I doing? Oh, I'm ignoring the optional things. Build a common room. I'm just gonna make a wall of doors so people feel really easy about coming into it. You know, I just wanted to have a friendly vibe for people. See, this has really sped up their ability to do things about the room. I know you can't see it because it's dark, but... All them doors. I don't know why every wall isn't just made of doors. It just makes things so much easier. 
Very good. We've made a real difference here, and I think the prison is back under control. We have made a real difference here. I've made a beautiful canteen, perfectly set up. Apparently half of it isn't lit, but no one seems to care. I've made a beautiful common room where people can sit down. Is this dude still not dead yet? I thought he died last time the guys visited him. <laughs> That's kind of funny, because basically to his two sons he was like, I am about to die, my children. These are my dying wishes. And then one of his sons actually ended up dying before him anyway. Like, <laughs> I bet he'd just find that so funny if he knew. Riot underway. Call the negotiator. It's out of control here. Nobody is in charge. We got multiple casualties and the remaining guards won't go into the rioting cell blocks. We've had to pull back to the perimeter. Figure out what to do and put a stop to this before it gets out of hand. You talking to me? Why? Why is the negotiator? I thought he was on the phone to somebody. Why are you bothering to be on the phone? I'm right here. Oh, seriously? <laughs> We've got a riot going on and these dudes are here just like... Um, I actually need an office to do my work. Um, I'm afraid that I can't do anything about this riot until you've fixed my office. <laughs> to do stop riot. What? What? Everything up to this point has given me such specific instructions, but this is just stop the riot. Jeez. Can I actually see what's going on? They're having an awkward little fight. This is fun. Oh, one of them's already dead. Can I bring some normal guards over here, please? Normal guards? Normal guards? I hired lots of you. Where have you gone? Right, more right guards have arrived. Brilliant, because it's not going well, and I don't know where my normal guards are. What are they all doing? They're just standing. I don't understand. Tired. I mean, you've literally just been hired and you're not even doing anything. Oh, now all my guards have come in. You're happy to come in once the job's done. Jeez. Stop showing me the fire! Fire's not my problem. If the, the fire will thin the herd of the prisoners, and there will be less for us to deal with. Cool, this went well. We've retaken a whole block. Mayor, this is going well. Leave me alone. I am ignoring this call from the mayor for so long. Okay, I think all the riot, all the riot guards are dead now. Well, we did a decent job. No, it's getting taken back over again. No, 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 no. Yes, Mayor? <laughs> I appreciate this is a very difficult time when we're under intense pressure. You are telling me. I literally almost had it. Uh, can you please send some more people? I know I killed the last ones, but please, please come back. Please. I will pay you for it. Yes, Doctor? Yes, Doctor? You've got wounded all over the prison and no doubt more to come. You can't just leave them. Well, I kind of can. Oh, my days. Everybody wants something from me. This is so stressful. This is the third. The first and the second level was so easy and this one is so stressful. The main bulk of the reinforcements have arrived. Oh, thank you, Lord. Where? Where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come to me, Riot, please. Come to me. You are the only effective people. The guards are just awful in this place. What do you want? Listen, we've got your CEO. Oh, there he is. This is why I've had no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> it was clever. It's like you knew the exact thing to take from me. Oh, I should employ some. If we have retaken this area, I need to impl deploy some guards. Although they still don't appear to be where I told them to be anyway. What are you all doing over here? I... I'm here deploying you to places. These guards are useless. Okay, deploy. I need I need some people to actually come in here, please. Please, I will unassign you from everywhere else. I mean, half of them aren't, don't even appear to be at their post anyway. Oh, hallelujah. Wait, were they not there because it was the night? That's ridiculous. Prison? We're in the middle of a riot. <laughs> you can't be like... Oh, sorry, sorry, it's it's part, it's, it's 8pm, it's time for me to knock off. I'll, I'll join you again in the morning and we can pick up this whole riot thing from where we left off. More riot guards have arrived. Brilliant, I love riot guards. Give me more riot guards. Okay, we have every room except the canteen now. I don't think it's looking good for you, Benedict, old pal. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty grim scene. All those sad-looking corpses. Pretty sad.